Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up your Yamaha Mox F. The Mox F is built uh, in three sections: uh, voice section for set up your voices and EQs and stuff, performance mode where you uh, place your layers and your splits and you set the volume for different voices, and master mode where you set up your set lists. Okay, you can set up your Yamaha to start up in the mode you like. You go to Utility and you click Others, and that's the SF6 button. And uh, here you can choose uh, which mode you want the keyboard to start up in. I like Performance, so I'll choose uh, Performance. Remember to click Store and Enter every time you make a change, so the Yamaha will save your choices. Remember to back up your stuff, you do that on a USB stick. Uh, I tried uh, different USB sticks because uh, I had a lot of read and write errors, but uh, it's not every USB stick that's compatible, so you just have to try different ones. Everything you save, you save to uh, these banks. There's a A to H bank, and for every bank there's 16 sub banks. So uh, you have a lot of space to save your work. So for this example, I will set up Mustang Sally. Uh, we have this basic. This basic grand piano uh, with nothing else. Uh, it's set on master mode on voice. And it's uh, saved on bank H and 16. H16. So uh, for this, I choose uh, F2 memory. And I see this uh, set for voice, so I wish to uh, edit a performance, make it a performance, because I need uh, various tones. And uh, when you just need a, po a piano or an organ, you can select voice and just uh, select which voice you need, like an acoustic piano. You can go sub menu and select which piano you need. But for this. Uh, song Mustang Sally. I would like to use a perform. Uh, so I need to click exit and uh, we'll uh, select perform and we'll find uh, somewhere we haven't saved anything yet, like H16, for example. Uh, we'll use perform H16 and we'll edit this one. For that, there's some drums I see. Something arpeggio, yes, I turn the arpeggio off and I go to the edit menu and I can see there's uh, three parts that's on and there's some arpeggios. I will turn these off and I will select the first tone I will use for Mustang Sally. Uh, I will use, uh, let's say, I would use uh, uh, saxophone in uh, the bottom to make the the bass tone so i'll select one for edit this tone and it's on the others off so i will click voice voice and category search and i will find a sax <laughs> Select this one. Um, here it has uh, some effects. I will turn these off. Just a little bit of effect. Yes, that's great. So this is uh, not deep enough. So I will select still selected uh, this voice. I'm editing voice one. So I will select tone. And I will note shift this um, 12 notes down. That's not good enough. 12. Now oh, that's too deep. We'll use zero. All right. So I will select voice again. The loss of the sensibility because I think it's a little bit vague. So I will send this up. Now it 
responds more quickly. Right. So, this is great. Now, I only want this to be in the bottom. So, I will use the mode and select down. And it says splits low up. I'll, and it says split to both. I will select lower. Let's see how go, far it goes. It goes all the way up. So, I have to set a limit for this. And it's set in... Uh, the low limit is C minus 1, and it's as low as it gets, and G8 is as high as it gets. So, I will lower this to like... Alright. This is where it parts. So, I need... Yeah, that's that's good enough. So. I will edit the next sound. I will mute this one and select the next and click 2 because I will edit this one. It's some synth. So I will select voice, voice, category search, and oh, that was too far. Category search, and I want an organ for that. So I will select organ. That's great. We'll use that one. It's okay. Uh, I can see this synth. So that's great. But it's a little, uh, it's a little too low because I want it uh, placed here on the keyboard. So I go to tone and set it for tones up. Yes, brilliant. So, I will set a limit for that one too, because I don't want that in the lower part uh, with the saxophone. So, I will select limit and low and raise it. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's nothing here, and I can play this up here. All right. For the last part, I want a saxophone more for the solo at the end. So now I have these the one on the saxophone in the bottom and their organ in the middle. So I need to set a limit for that one, so I can use a saxophone. In the top, so I select one down and lower this one. Yeah, great. So I select three to edit that one and mute the other two so I can only hear this one. There's some synth path layer something, something. I want this to be a Saxophone, so I select voice again, voice, category search, and I'll find sax again. I don't want this. Yeah, great. Sounds great. So, I will be playing this one up here so it's way too high so i'll lower this 12 times great and i will set a limit for that one as well so it won't interfere with the organ so i need it up here limit and select the lower limit and raise this to Right, so now I got I can activate all three voices and I have Great. So all I need now is to name this song and I will name it under the common. So get common 
and that's where we edit uh, all the song, uh, the whole song. And we'll just uh, select the common and general name, and we can name this. This thing. thing yes exit store and I want it store on H16 enter enter yes so now if we switch other and we got it on perform and H and 16 we got Mustang Sally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. great so, I want it on the set list. I click master and I want it on H16. I'll just say, okay, masters H16 fang, I want this memory and select it's on voice. I select performance. I go one down and one to the side and I can locate Mustang Sally and I placed it on. H16, I remember now, and I can select get name because I wanted that name Mustang Sally. And so play Mustang Sally, store, enter, enter, and you got it saved as Mustang Sally on H16 in master mode. So that's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so you um, you set up all your songs in the master mode and your set list, and it's already you get to rehearsal. And the other bandmates say, "Oh, by the way, we wish to play this in D instead of C." And you say, "Oh shit, I've uh, just rehearsed it in C. No problem. We can just transpose it, and we'll do this very easily." We click uh, sound switch. We we have selected uh h16 as mustang sally and we get this mustang sally we select uh, f3 for zone switch and the zone switch is off let's turn this on so now we can we can set up edit and edit and zone one zone one is edit and we click no and just click one down to transpose and we can now we get it transposed so it's transposed plus two we can also transpose and set octaves for plus one or different if we want that 